Today our topic is RNA interference for nematode gene silencing in plants. RNA interference or RNA has emerged as a very useful tool for gene silencing aimed at the functional analysis of different genes by suppressing their expression in a wide variety of organisms including plant parasitic nematodes. In this strategy, the nematodes uptake double-stranded RNA or short interfering RNAs from the plants expressing these RNAs, which elicit a systemic RNA response in nematodes. The transgenic expression of double-stranded RNA targeting a specific nematode effector gene could be a handful to suppress the expression of that effector gene, which is crucial for the infection process. Nematodes are obligate parasites of the plants and cannot be cultured on artificial media. Hence, we cannot make them uptake the double-stranded RNA directly from a medium or solution. This limitation can be overcome by the host-induced application of double-stranded RNA by expressing these RNAs in the host plant and feeding the nematodes on these plants. We demonstrated it here in the form of a schematic diagram elaborating on the mechanism of implant RNA during molecular plant nematode interactions. Double-stranded RNA produced in the transgenic plant can lead to RNA silencing of a specific gene in plant parasitic nematodes. In the first step, the double-stranded RNA is processed by the plant disser enzyme which cuts the double-stranded RNA into small interfering RNAs. However, if longer double-stranded RNAs are ingested, the processing from double-stranded RNA to small interfering RNA can be performed by the nematode disser as well. But if the plant disser does so, then, in the next step these small interfering RNA are taken up by the plant parasitic nematodes. Once the small interfering RNA are ingested by the feeding nematodes on the transgenic plant, the small interfering RNA is recognized by the RNA-induced silencing complex or risk machinery of that plant mm -hmm. parasitic nematode, and its unwinding into sense and antisense strands takes place. A proportion of the risk complex loaded with the antisense strand interacts with the corresponding RNA of the target gene in the nematode. And, as a result, the RNA is cleaved by the risk F and subsequently degraded. Moreover, the targeted RNA can be made double-stranded after binding of the small interfering RNA, and this double-stranded RNA is then processed to produce additional small interfering RNAs, intensifying the initial silencing signal. This is how the host-induced gene silencing works in plant nematode interactions.